Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goyne. In our today's video, we will talk about the six trigonometric ratios in trigonometry. So without further ado, let's do this topic. We are given here the direction, find the six trigonometric ratios of angle theta given the right triangle below. So as you can see, we are here to find the value of sine theta, cosine theta, tangent theta, cosecant theta, secant theta, and cotangent theta given this triangle. And let's assign that this acute angle is your angle theta. So we have here the measurement of 5 and 12. As you can see, we have a missing length here, which is your hypotenuse. So in this case, guys, before we can solve or find the ratio of the six trigonometric ratios, we need to find first the length of your hypotenuse. Yes, you need to use the Pythagorean theorem c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared because this is the formula that we need to use in finding or to find the length of your hypotenuse. Here, the missing is c. We have c squared and your a is 5. So we have 5 squared plus your b which is 12. So you can interchange this one. It should be, uh, it can be 12 squared and then can, this can be 5 squared. And simplifying this, this would give us c squared is equal to 25 plus 144. And add these numbers, we have c squared is equal to 169. So to finally find the length of your hypotenuse, get the square root of c squared same with 169. The square root of c squared is c and the square root of 169 is simply 13. This is now the length of your hypotenuse which is 13. Now, since we are done figuring out or solving for the length of the hypotenuse, we are now ready to find the ratios of these six functions. But remember, you need to remember so, ka, to, wa, in which we have your sine is equal to opposite over the hypotenuse, and cosine is equal to adjacent over the hypotenuse, tangent is equal to opposite over the hypotenuse. This is your opposite with respect to your angle theta, this is your opposite side, this is your adjacent side, and this is your hypotenuse. So for sine, we have opposite, which is 5, over the hypotenuse, which is 13. And this is it. But always remember, since this one is a ratio or in fractional form, you need to express that always, uh, always, in lowest terms. So this one is already in lowest terms. Next, we have the cosine. For the cosine, we have cosine is equal to adjacent, which is 12, over your hypotenuse, which is 13. And this is the answer for it. Next, cotangent. For the cotangent theta, tangent is equal to opposite. Opposite, which is 5, over your adjacent, which is 12. And this is the final answer for sine, cosine, and tangent theta. Now let's move on with the other three. But uh, one of the easier way on how to do this is if you're trying to figure out the ratio for the cosecant is to get the reciprocal of your sine theta. As you can see, your sine theta is 5 over 13 and the reciprocal of it is 13 over 5. Interchange the position of your numerator and denominator, and that's the cosecant theta. Now for the second theta, same with the sine and cosecant, it is simply the reciprocal of your cosine theta. So if this is 12 over 13, this is 13 over 12. And this is the answer for the second theta. Next, we have the cotangent theta. For the cotangent theta, get the reciprocal of your tangent. If this is 5 over 12, 
the answer here is 12 over 5. That's it, guys. I hope you learned something from this video on how to find the six trigonometric ratios of theta given this triangle. At first, we need to find the hypotenuse, or we need to find one missing side using the Pythagorean theorem. Okay? Next, after figuring out the value of your three sides, you can easily identify the six trigonometric ratios given this mnemonics. So, ka, towa. And that's it, guys. So, again, I hope you learned something from this video. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!